And that takes us all the way over here. I don't want to go all the way over there yet. Let's go back to this level. Uh, this is Tire Trail. And this level actually has three bonuses. It also has flying pigs that kill you. That was one of the things, like, when I first saw this game in, like, Nintendo Power, that was, like, the first thing that, like, caught my eye. I'm like, why are there flying pigs in this game? And, like, there's a lot of them, too. Like, they seriously wanted to make the flying pigs into something. Um... Well, that was fun hanging up there, but I wish I would have been able to see what I was doing. <laughs> Game. Oh, this is actually the demo level that plays, or at least the first demo. When you leave the game on the title screen. That's kind of cool. I definitely missed a bonus, though. grabbing that. This, on the other hand. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was simple. Thanks for playing, I guess. Um, I saw a bee. I'm not stupid. I definitely saw a bee right there. Oh, maybe it was... No, that couldn't have been it, because I wouldn't have been able to see that, though. I swear I saw a B near the G, but I, eh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there we go. Looks like there's gotta be a way on top of the treetops here. Actually, hold on. I feel like there's a barrel down there that I can't see. Oh, whatever. Gonna complete the level for now, anyway. Okay, so we're 23% done with this game so far, which is not bad, considering. But, uh, I'm gonna go back and get the other two bonuses I missed, so hold on, guys. Okay, first bonus is actually the very beginning of the level. And it's one of these again. Thankfully, you don't have to spend all your coins once you come here. I'm just going to grab a few extras and then I'm going to leave. Because you keep whatever you leave with. But there is another bonus here. And I want to say it's not too far into the level. Or too much further into the level. It's probably this right here. Yep, there it is. Okay, well, didn't have to cut anymore, I guess. Oh, and they actually give you a plethora of coins right there, too. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's that level in a nutshell. So, let's move on to the next level. This level's called Congo Carnage. That seems like a very typical Donkey Kong Country name. Congo Carnage. Just the word carnage being used a lot is essentially what I'm going for there. Oh, okay. Well, we can see this in action. Or not, because I dropped it. I would start select, but I have to actually beat the level before I can do that. Oh, hey. Freaking neckies in this game. Apparently there is kind of a glitch where sometimes the nuts that Neki throws, uh, they'll not be visible, like, on screen, and you can just get hit by something and you don't know what it is. I saw that when reading the uh, Wikipedia entry for this game. Lots of weird little glitches and things like that in this game getting hit by a stupid beaver when you don't expect it. 
get rid of you. I feel like there's going to be something up here. Why would they show all that if there's nothing? Oh, come on! I rolled into that guy. Well, there's one of the bonuses. And it's this again. Uh, boom. Whatever. I'll just take what little I can get, because I don't really need much right now. Okay, here. Actually, wait. Aha! There's the other bonus. That's not a bonus. Never mind. <laughs> That's just a little uh, adventure through the scenery, I guess. Okay, I thought there'd be something up there, but nope. Death is up there, apparently. You know, our good old friend Death. There we go. Okay, so up here all I have is bananas. Nothing too important. Thought it'd be interesting to at least look, but... Apparently I was wrong. Oh, I can do this. Oh, well. That was short-lived. <laughs> Probably would have been more advantageous to do it earlier with that first one I found. And I freaked out right there. I didn't know whether to go up or down, so that confused me. Okay, boom. Hmm. Eh, whatever. Okay, well there is definitely another bonus I missed, so I'm going to uh, take a look at that and be right back. Okay, as I figured... Yep, there it is. But yeah, it was at the beginning of the level, so didn't have to wait too long for that one. little coin collecting room. That's pretty much what the bonus areas try to focus on. They focus on getting those coins so you can get those extra lives, which I can understand that. Uh, here we have Arctic Barrel Arsenal, which probably means that we're going to be dealing with uh, a lot of barrels in this one. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come back when I actually need them. But yeah, our good friend, the Barrel Blasts. Although they're definitely, I think, e easier in this game. I feel like they'd have to be. And now I'll wait before I uh, put my foot in my mouth and it turns out to be more difficult than what I thought. But if we're already at the midpoint, this can't be a super long level. Apologies for the silence, I'm just trying to concentrate. Trying to concentrate, and rightfully so. Uh, nope, nothing down there. It could be a thing where it's after the, uh... No? Okay, well, okay, I'm gonna have to go back to that one. Which, that's kind of annoying, but, uh, I'll do it if I have to, I guess. So yeah, hold on guys. Okay, I think I found what I was looking for. The barrel that goes like this. You see that banana down there? That's where it is. Also Kong. Nice hiding of the end right there, game. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire first world taken care of. So we're going to move on to the boss level. 
which is called Wild Sting Fling. So, uh, for this boss level, we have this, uh, I guess this Manta Ray, or whatever this thing is. Looks like those things in Donkey Kong Country 2 that are in the water levels. I think they're called, like, Flotsam or whatever. But yeah, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Nothing to worry about. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That was uh, World 1. So now we're going to move on to World 2. Uh, World 2 is actually a lot shorter than World 1. Um, it's only like 7 levels and a boss level. So this will not take us very long to get through. And also, most of these levels only have 1 or no bonus areas. This first one will have a bonus area, but, uh, just one. But, you could almost look at it like, well, if it's only gonna have one bonus level, then they're probably gonna hide it a lot harder. Like, it's gonna be a lot harder to find, but... I don't know. Sometimes the bonus areas just, like, come right at you and, like, just kinda get in your face anyway, so... Not all of them are gonna be incredibly hidden, like some of them have been. Let's hope that's the case, anyway. But yeah, these are the temple levels. Donkey Kong Country had a few of these. I want to say it only had two of these levels, actually. Which is weird, because normally they try to go for, like, three levels per trope, but... Eh, there were definitely a few levels where they definitely broke that rule and did, like, a certain trope more than twice or even three times. Which is a shame, because I always thought the temple levels were, like, really, really cool, too. Just the way they look, with the kind of ancient temple background. That's just me, though. Wait a minute. Found ya! Here we actually have Rambi. Uh, so yeah, we've seen Rambi and um, Espresso in this game. Those are actually the only two animal buddies that are in this game. Even Engard isn't in this game. So I always found that kind of interesting. How they just remove them for this, but... I don't know, I, I guess Engard could have been a little problematic. And speaking of that... We have our first, uh, water level. Uh, the f oh, the first level was called Tricky Temple, by the way. I don't know if I actually said that. Uh, this level is called Kremlantis. And, uh, this level does not have any bonuses. In fact, all the water levels don't have bonuses, so... Whenever we see one, we don't have to worry about anything, because... Well, we just don't have to worry about them. Which, I am very okay with that, honestly. But some of these water levels can be kind of hard, especially the enemies. The enemies here are very, like, erratic. And they can just kind of come out and surprise you. Like, very, very easily. I also think after this level, I'm probably going to take a small little break. I'm actually recording this on Super Bowl Sunday. And before anyone asks who I was rooting for, um, I root for anything that's not football because I'm not really a football person. I'm just not really into football. I'm not really into sports in general. I've mentioned it in several of my past videos and stuff, but like, my favorite sport is golf. <laughs> So, yeah, that's like, you know, n not the most action-packed sport, but, like, I get a kick out of it just because there's, like, a lot of, like, I, I don't really want to say strategy, but a lot of thinking involved and planning things out. That's just kind of what I like. I kind of like uh, that aspect of golf over just the uh, hard-hitting action of football or any of those other sports. 
But if I guess if I had to pick one team, I'd probably pick the Atlanta Falcons just because uh, Shadow Mario XLI is rooting for the Patriots, so screw him. <laughs> but that that's just that's just normal. Damn it! Ah Hopefully Okay, I did get a midpoint, that's good. I find, I feel like these levels aren't too long, so We can generally get through here pretty quickly. As long as I don't make any stupid mistakes, that's the only catch that I need to uh, keep in mind when doing this. Also, those fish always throw me through a loop, because sometimes I feel like I touch them and I don't get hit by them. Well, other times, like right there, I did hit them and I did lose a Kong. So it's like, should that enemy even be able to hit me? It's just a normal fish, and then I got hit by the same frickin' shell guy that I got hit by earlier. Okay. I shouldn't try to speedrun this, though, to be fair. I should just take my time and not worry about it. That would be the logical thing to do, anyway. Okay, stay low here to avoid the fish. And swim back up. Avoid these guys. Avoid that fish. Jeez, these fish are just being something else. Oh my god. Well, there was a G down there, so that's something. And there's the exit. Okay. I feel good about that. But yeah, no bonuses, so... There's the exclamation mark. There's probably some goodies after at the end of the level, but uh, I'm sure we'll find some other goodies we can get. But yeah, I am going to take a break right here, so I will uh, see you guys in a bit for more of Donkey Kong Land.